Uh, yes. I'm wondering if I can get a referral for somewhere I could take my son for a hearing evaluation and speech evaluation. My name is Carlos Herrera. I have a four and a half year old and a two year old. And uh, uh, my four and a half year old, he's fully disabled. Uh, me and my wife, we have to stay home. Because if she's cooking, she's taking a bath, I have to stay with him. If I'm taking care of the other one, she has to stay with him. But uh, especially with, with my four and a half, that has to go to the hospital up to seven times in a month. And, and uh, when he gets pneumonia, we have to, he has to be there at the hospital for 25 days to 30 days, in and out. And my two-year-old, uh, he has possible autism. The, my concern is about him talking and, and behavior because he, does, uh, he has a behavior problem. He would scream, he would throw things at you, he would throw himself on the wall. On the wall. He, he developed a headbanging at six months old. <laughs> the doctors, uh, they, they keep telling you that headbanging is normal. We have to wait, we have to wait. But you know, something strong. It's not just your fully disabled child, now it's the other child too. And uh, I used to live on the second floor which makes it really hard for me to go up and down. So we finally move into a house, but now the house is gonna be sold. I'm in the need of finding a, a place that is ADA approved. And uh, um, I try many places, but uh, uh, they have a long waiting list. You know, with, with, without the help of 211 LA, uh, it, it would be hard for me to find the right help. The caller initially calls uh, 211. Uh, they may be in need of, of housing, um, and then they're asked at the end of, upon giving them that referral, whether they have a child ages zero to five, and that's when the call gets transferred to us, um, and we complete the uh, parent evaluation of developmental status uh, questionnaire with them. Those first years of life are really crucial because of brain plasticity. And we know that early relationships and anything that disrupts those relationships can have a negative impact on early development. And things that we can do to help support children and families in those early years have the best impact and the best return on investment. Another big issue is that for many families, especially African American and Latino families, there aren't always services available even a family that has concerns doesn't have access to quality care and the quality comprehensive evaluation. And I really was struck um, by how innovative it is in terms of combining both the evidence-based screening tools with the care coordination and all of the follow-up and all of the data that you're looking at. In the research world, it's, it's sometimes difficult to be able to reach out to families to let them know about the research and to get them involved in the research. 211 and its work with the screening program is actually identifying the families that we often have the hardest time finding. And it was very touching for me because I have two boys that uh, are autistic. Like a lot of fathers, I too was in denial um, that my uh, son was, uh, you know, challenged with autism. And I really didn't know what to do until I, you know, until I was introduced to uh, efforts that coordinated services for me so that I am now uh, accepting that my boys uh, now are autistic and they're now receiving services because of efforts um, and in one case with 211. The day I called 211, I had concerns about my son Malachi. At the time, he was three years old, and he was showing signs and symptoms of autism. So I decided to call 211. And I was passed through to someone and she basically did a screening and confirmed that my son, the likelihood was that my son was autistic. Our autistic um, special needs child, his name is Jonathan. Well, when he was very little, we could always tell there was something different. He didn't meet the milestones that our other children had met. He wouldn't make eye contact. He, he just did certain things much, much differently. And so, 
I would regularly bring it up to the pediatrician who always said, no, he's fine, he's a little different, he's a little slow, but he'll grow out of it. And we continued to press and press and we didn't feel like we were getting what we needed from there. I went over and met the lady from 211 and she was so nice and it's like she already knew the questions that I had. If I'd only known that there were resources out there earlier, you know, we could have found out at six months as opposed to two and a half where we were only left with six months to try and get services and get things started. The average diagnosis in this country right now is five years old. In the underserved communities, uh, it's as high as nine, uh, maybe even higher. And that's, uh, that's something we want to change. We want to make sure that kids get diagnosed as early as 18 months, uh, and no later than that. Uh, it's scientifically proven that if, uh, if you start therapies at an early age, uh, the outlook can be much greater. So we want to make sure that families understand uh, the signs, look for the signs, talk to their pediatricians. And we know that pediatricians don't do the best job that we can. Even though we try, we have a lot of trouble, a lot of things on our plates. And this program could really help us be more efficient and effective in early identification. And again, we know that early identification and early interventions are really going to make the best outcomes for children. Well, a lot of parents don't know the services that are available. A lot of parents don't know that under the law now, if you have private health insurance, the insur your insurance company is required to provide and cover behavioral therapy. We hope to spread that to the public health care system as well, and we will soon. 211 LA County is the only one conducting the developmental screening over the telephone and providing the care coordination for children to receive the identified in early intervention services. It's worth it because kids who are born with autism or related disorders deserve every bit as good a life and every bit of opportunity as kids who don't have autism. A kid is a kid is a kid. It doesn't matter what they're born with. Everybody deserves an opportunity. But if you want to be real bottom line about it, Early intervention is not only the right thing to do on behalf of human beings with the desire to have a good life and with potential, but it also is economical as well. You can afford to have a babysitter to come inside the house, especially with a disabled child. So it's good just to pick up the phone and, and, and talk to somebody and, and get help. They treat us like a family. so. And that's the good thing, that you don't, you're you not alone. Um, at the end, um, I ended up uh, having my own place. Now I have my own apartment. From, from having nothing, now I have more than I need. My child has all the resources that he needs for, for someone who's autistic and nonverbal. And uh, if it wasn't for 211, I wouldn't be in the situation that I am now. I like a happy ending at the end. What we know from all of our scientific research is that this type of early screening and referral is absolutely essential for these kids to achieve their developmental potential. And 211 does this with an amazing degree of success. People call in, they screen them over the phone, they refer them to places. They provide the follow-up and it's imperative that these families are followed up on, uh, that they're pushed into the areas that they need to go in. And 211 LA County has been incredible incredible partner in, in terms of uh, providing that follow-up. We coordinate services throughout the entire network of early intervention and of basic needs and of community partners. So it's not just one particular uh, resource, it's multiple resources. The idea then that 211 could be a countywide service that could provide the service for all patients in all clinical settings who aren't getting this care that they need at their clinics. That's a pretty revolutionary idea. That's a game changer. Our belief is that if the parent is well, the child and the children benefit from uh, the parent doing well. <laughs> We're available uh, for the families um, that they, they give 211 a call. We're just a call away.
A great day for me when Malachi says, I love you, and he has these cooperative moments. And then sometimes he just says these amazing things that come out of nowhere, and I just say, I didn't know you knew that. A good day is uh, having somewhere to be. You know, I've, I've came to a place where I can actually say every day is a great day because I have my, my family, we're all healthy, and that's, that's basically a great day for us. I had a good day when I called 211 LA. I knew there was somebody that was, a, that, that was uh, uh, there for me to help me out, and I wasn't on my own.